Hello and welcome to Creating a Compelling Brand Identity Statement, a brief webinar workshop designed specifically for our brand DNA graduate masters. I'm Suzanne Tulane, co-founder and principal of the Brand Ascension Group. In this brief but very thought-provoking webinar, I promise to help you continue to leverage in action your unique brand DNA. So in the next 15 minutes or less, you will learn how to compose your own unique brand DNA statement derived from your brand DNA template for use in networking, email signatures, briefings, advertising, sales pitches, proposals, and more, believe it or not. So if you utilize networking events to get new business and could benefit from a sharp, clear, and compelling statement that clarifies who you are and how you're different, then get ready because you've come to the right place. We've all heard of the old elevator pitch. So if you're in business, then this is one of those first things that you're told is a must have. So what is it? Think of it as if you were on an elevator with your top prospective customer going from floor 20 to let's say one. And in about 20 to 30 seconds, you've got an opportunity to tell them about yourself in a way that they will walk away wanting to know more and wanting to add you within their networking circles. So why the 20 seconds? Well, it comes from a rule of sevens, which states there are seven seconds to make an impression. There's 14 seconds to create an, uh, an interest or compel the listener, listener. And then there's 21 seconds there to help solidify that story. You know, these days, most all of the organized networking groups will put you on the spot and ask you to cite your brand identity statement in front of everybody. So you've got to be ready. And as the group goes around the room and you listen to the other business professionals and you start tweaking your own message in your head on the spot, right? So needless to say, as an entrepreneur, it's our nature to always look for ways to improve our next delivery. So just so you know, we've changed the name of this traditional tool for our Brand DNA Graduate Masters to the Brand Identity Statement because it really helps keep the brand DNA more top of mind and relevant to all those attributes that you identified in your, in your DNA. So we're staying on track and highly consistent. So the first question that really comes to mind uh, is what does a brand identity statement do and why should I have one? Well, your brand identity statement begins the building blocks of perception and compels a potential customer to want to know more about your brand and what you offer. Remember, your brand is a perception so this is the perfect tool to begin formulating that in the mind of the listener. So what is the perception you want to create? And this statement is really generally expressed in 30 seconds or less, so it forces the statement to be as clearly articulated as possible, yet compelling enough to stir interest in the listener. And in this case, it's true, less is truly more. So there are also a few other resulting benefits to creating a powerful brand identity statement. One is that it forces the brand owner to really dig deep into the meaning of the brand and express it clearly and concisely. It is a great exercise to think through what you are and what you aren't. So that's why the brand DNA is so vital in the creation of this particular tool. It also helps you and your teams be more consistent in the delivery of the brand dialogue so everyone is on the same page when speaking about the brand, sending the same messages out to your markets. And finally, it helps maintain a common yet distinctive external perception of the brand and its benefits. And you know, this statement can be used in all those pieces I was talking about, your email signature, advertising, networking, sales presentations, there's so much that can be used with this particular statement. So let's keep continuing here. In the download worksheet that actually accompanies this webinar is a template that will help you kickstart the composition of your brand identity statement. This is just a template and you may find that you need to alter the initial terms that actually start the sentence phrases as you see fit, as, as you feel would be best uh, beneficial for the start of your compelling statements. So the statement itself is made up of several key compo components and we'll walk you through each one of those. The first is the introduction. The second is the purpose. And finally, the WIFM statement, which is to clarify what stands for what's in it for me, meaning the listener, of course. So this is where you begin to refer back to your unique brand DNA template. 
it will help in actually the, the flow and the ease of your composition and aid in the power of staying brand relevant. So each of these three components are expressed in a very succinct composition that you can memorize and then cite within 30 seconds or less. So now I'm going to ask you a strange question. What business is your brand in? I mean, really, think about it. What business is your brand in? So the first component to brand identity statement is the introduction. And this defines the what part of your brand. So it answers the question, what business is your brand in? And let me give you an example. This can actually, your, your final outputs can pull from your brand DNA's authentic differentiators. But the Brand Ascension Group's example for this is, the Brand Ascension Group is an internally focused experiential branding firm. That's it. That's the business we're in. So when you understand your core brand DNA, specifically your differentiator attributes, then they can be used to help you create the vocabulary that defines what business your brand is in. Okay? Now moving on to the second component is the purpose. The purpose defines the how and the why of the being in business and quickly identifies the who your market is. <laughs> So think of the reasons you got into this business and what the true motivators are behind the product or service that you offer. Hone in on the terms that you use in your brand platform and massage them into a purpose statement that really speaks to the how and why and who in any order that works within your particular sentence structure. Our purpose statement is through our step-by-step -step methodology, we partner with visionary organizations to get brand conscious and achieve sustainable growth from the inside out. Now to the final component of the statement. Most every business knows they provide great value to their customers. So here is the place to truly clarify that value. This component is the most fun because it allows you to speak to your key benefits, the WIFM statement. It defines the how you provide value to your customer. So when you think about the after effect or the resulting feeling or of the solution your brand actually provides, this is where you'll find the terms to compose this section. Review your brand differentiators, your standards of performance for customers, and your brand values for this particular portion. But not again, not only your brand value um, terms, we want you to review your brand value definitions. You'll find key phrases that you can pull from those definitions to apply to this particular statement. Here's the brand ascensions example of our WIFM statement. We do this by guiding them to define and build engaging internal brand experiences that win customers for life without spending one dollar on marketing. So let's take a look at our example in full composition. The Brand Ascension Group is an internally focused experiential branding firm. Through our step-by-step -step methodology, we partner with visionary organizations to get brand conscious and achieve sustainable growth from the inside out. We do this by guiding them to define and build engaging internal brand experiences that win customers for life without spending one dollar on marketing. Isn't that fabulous? So that was fun to create, and we did that based on our DNA. So in closing, we'd like for you to remember that the brand identity statement creation is an iterative process. Your first try will not be the final version. And endeavor to keep it well under 30 seconds. This is a challenge for most businesses that really forces you to dig deep and think through the vocabulary that you choose. Ensure that it has uniquely compelling verbiage that attracts attention. Commit this statement to memory so that it rolls off your tongue easily and naturally. And go ahead, try it on with several audiences to, to gauge their reactions and see if it compels them to ask more about you and your brand. And of course, refine it as necessary. You want this to be truly authentic to you and your brand. It may take some time to get the exact vocabulary strung together that makes perfect sense to you and your audiences, but keep trying, you're gonna get there. So now it's your turn to take the worksheet and define your own brand identity statement. Thanks again for your interest and congratulations on your efforts to continue to elevate your brand. 
For more Brand DNA graduate products, we'd love for you to visit our Brand Ascension Group's website. Um, you'll look for the Brand DNA graduate products section on the website. We have other webinars on there, called, one called Brand Speak, that's about developing your brand vocabulary. One that we just uh, finished is called Make Your Brand Make Sense. And that really means creating multi-sensory experiences, both internally and externally for your customers. We have the Five Steps to Rock Solid on Brand Culture, which is a fabulous uh, introverted look on how you can begin engaging your employees to be more on brand. And then we have special consulting package rates just for you, the Brand DNA graduate, and so much more. So we look forward to seeing you and even hearing about your outputs. Uh, go ahead and visit the uh, LinkedIn group that we've got available for Brand DNA graduates and share your experiences. Collaborate with other Brand DNA masters and let's elevate together. Thanks again. Have a great one.